Well, hello there. My name is Jay Lapore with CompuMatter and also with ServerMatter. In this video, we're going to talk about trust. And in this particular case, a loss of trust that happened one day for no particular reason. Everything's fine. Server's behaving fine. I get a phone call or text from a client that says, hey, um, we can't log into this machine. It says the machine's not trusted or we cannot access this file or folder on the server because it says we're not trusted. I'm thinking to myself, well, what could it be? Everything was fine. We haven't done anything differently. All right, so my domain has trust issues. This is a computer that's hooked up to my domain. I've used it many times before. Today, trust relationship between this workstation and the primary domain failed. So that's where it began. And so then the research, I've tried all the things that I knew how to do. I reset the computer from the Active Directory uh, users, groups, computers, and all that sort of thing. Didn't make a difference. I disconnected the machine from the domain. Uh, rebooted the machine, brought it in, reconnected to the domain. Still had the same trust issues. By the way, I also involved ChatGPT and they had some good answers, but they didn't solve the problem. All right, it's a different day. I have uh, put out a job to a freelancer, or to freelancers in general on Upwork. Let me just kind of show you what that process is. Samba, trust relationship failure. And I've got some people that have chimed in on the job. And here I describe you know, these are the problems. This is what we noticed as a precursor to the problem. Now we have a trust relationship failure, unable to solve it. An immediate need, client unable to do business as expected. So I get a couple of folks that have uh, chimed in. Uh, this guy seemed to have great expertise, but he's in the wrong time zone. So he's going to bed when I'm getting up. There's Jonathan, okay. So I got him on the line this morning and he turned out to be quite knowledgeable. So I think I've already found a problem actually. You started kind of recording at a really good time. Um, <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so Microsoft released an update um, this past Tuesday and it put uh, Kerberos into like enforcement mode for certain security measures in the background. Um, that update has broke compatibility with Samba. So we went down that rabbit hole we uninstalled the Windows update from our test machine that was having problems. We did have to divorce it from the domain, um, but we did in fact find out that that update was the problem. So here's a machine that I haven't done that to yet, so we can walk through this together and you can see what was done. We go ahead and go into Windows updates on this Windows 10, 11, whatever machine. We take a look at the uh, update history. These are the steps. We're going to choose uninstall updates. We are looking for KB5028166. And if it's in there, and it is, uh, three days ago, which is probably when problems really started happening here, you've got to right click and uninstall that puppy. And we're going to uninstall this other one that happened on the same day, just in case there's any deeper relationship. All right, it's going to take a while. I know from experience, this first one's going to take a full five minutes. So I'm going to put this on pause and come back. All right, first one's gone. We're going to restart later because we want to pull out this next one as well. That shouldn't take near as long. I think it takes about two minutes, but we're going to get pause and come back to that. Actually, while it's doing that, we're going to go to the next step and we're going to take this off the domain. And that's one part of this that is necessary. Now, this is super important. When you disconnect the domain and you say yes, and you say disconnect, here you need to make sure to put in the name of a local administrator account. They want you to be sure that you can log in again after you've disconnected from the domain. You're not going to be able to add a domain, uh, reconnect to the domain, if you don't have a local administrator account to do that. If you don't know what that is, 
you better just log off, get out of this process right now. Okay, we'll back out of there. We'll go to users and groups. Not Active Directory, but just local users and groups. Click on users, and we've got some different users in there. Go ahead and right click on one, set a password that you do know. Okay, we'll just put in a simple one for now. All right, now we're good to go. We're golden. We can come back to this area, disconnect, should be good to go. We, d we did not lose any user data, nothing. It didn't skip a beat. It logged right back in. All the user stuff was right there. We're going to restart later, though. As we restart now, we're going to stop this other process from completing. All right, so that's finished. We can restart now. When we come back in, we will be off the domain. And these updates... Oh, hold on just a second. We need to make sure updates don't keep coming in because it may install the same update on the first reboot. So we're going to look at advanced options and pause until we're going to say 30 days. Today's the uh, 14th. So we'll scroll down here till August 14th. The most it gives us is August 18th. What the heck, we'll just go all the way with that and, uh, and pause those updates. Now I don't have, um, there is probably a place where updates can be turned off completely, but for now we're gonna go with the 35 days and then we believe that a solve for this issue will come about in the meantime. And that's VM number four for us, so we'll let that restart. That's going to take about five minutes because during the process it's got to uh, revert updates and we'll be right back. Okay, so this is the same system. It rebooted. Uh, the, the, there were no domain, domain options because we are logged off the domain. And I do see devices won't, won't be updated until 8.18, which is good. So now let's go ahead and add our reconnect our domain, join to a local active domain. Here we're putting in the administrators uh, to our Samba domain administrator so we can connect this machine. This is not the necessarily the user who's going to be using the machine. It successfully makes a connection. We're not going to add this as a user account. We're going to skip that and restart the computer again. All right, so I just logged in as a normal user and now I'm going to, I've gone ahead and reattached us to the domain. All that went perfectly. And this is now our first attempt to log in as a domain user to see if we get rejected after everything was done. It went well, but here's exactly how it looks. Okay, we're going to now try to reattach as an administrator on the domain and hope that we do not get you are not trusted. Well, I'm happy to say it logged in fine. I'm able to see other systems on the network without any difficulty. So this is once again a trusted computer. Last test, we're going to try a non-administrator user. Looks like that's going to go through. All right, we are logged in as the other user. I'm finding out that I am able to access company shares that were previously disconnected. So life is good. We're back in business. All right, so we've solved the problem. We know what caused it because the solution worked in every case. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Jonathan T over at um, Upwork for helping me isolate where this problem was coming from. And he did so uh, in reasonably short order because he had personally experienced the issue and had already seen the movie before and, uh, and knew the solution. So my hat's off to him. I, it was definitely the right guy. If we do a simple search, 
on that particular update number, the word Samba and the word trust, we immediately start getting the hits um, indicating two days ago, trust controller, Samba controller broken, um, broken trust to domain controllers on reddit.com and on down the line. Um, I've even see, seen uh, returns with the word to my horror. Our domain is broken because of update 5028166. So it's all over the place. It's all over the internet. It's a big problem. It is a direct result of a Microsoft update. And um, the folks over at Samba are working on this. And uh, we're waiting for them to release an update of some kind that we can incorporate it in our servers. And there he is, to my, to my complete horror, seems to break trust. So um, I'll be staying uh, in close contact with the Samba people, looking for how best to patch this situation. Uh, there's no question it has to be resolved. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of times programs in the world have no choice uh, but to respond to what Microsoft does, right? I mean, uh, it's like being at war when... You know, you kind of have to wait for one person to fire before you can defend. It gives them the advantage and kind of rolls in that direction. Microsoft sends out an update that probably plays well with their own Microsoft server domain environment. Um, but the Samba domain environment, which is their only competitor that I'm aware of, um, eh, they don't really care as much about it, it wouldn't seem. Uh, or this sort of thing would have been dug in, into, in advance and would have been avoided. But Samba is, um, is a powerful open source alternative to Windows Server um, and certainly uh, at a fraction of the cost in what we use in our servers and, um, and, and very viable ongoing community um, of support for the Samba environment. So I'm confident they're going to work it out. We'll look forward to whatever that um, that uh, reply is to the uh, the firing of the missile from Microsoft. And in the meantime, we've turned off updates for 30 days, so none of our customers will be affected, and we'll keep a close eye on it in the meantime. If you like what you've seen, you've learned anything from it, if you are so inclined, uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.